cool kids. What it is. So my question is, what are you doing tonight? Because I know what I'm doing. I am obsessively watching the Kitco chart. Yep, starting now. Starting now. What's my internet works? Yes, very good. Here we go. Let us look at it. We are at 29.51. Up six centavos. We have lost a bit of ground, haven't we? Yes. Yes, we have. But I wanted to make this video to be reassuring to all the cool kids that as long as we are above 27.99, we are still in the bull market territory on this run. And so that's just my opinion. I'm not giving investment advice, but I will tell you this. Last time I saw silver go to $50 an ounce, it had to go to $30 an ounce first. Come here, baby. Baby. <laughs> Come on, turd. There you go. Had a girl. Look who's back, who's come to join us. So, <clears throat> what does all this mean? Well, if you've been watching the channel for very long at all, you know that it's all about your cost per ounce. So, this is why dollar cost averaging is, it's more of a idea, you know, than an actual, I got you, honey, you got, I got it. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, let me get that out of your fingernail, huh? Can I can I get that? Or are you going to call me again? There we go. Good girl. Good golly. Well, I didn't need that skin anyway, either. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to the point. How you doing, dirt? <laughs> she is not a happy camper, I don't think. Yep. I'm going to put some alcohol in this. I'll be right back. All right. Well, anyway, we got that. Let's talk about silver. Um, so the thing with the cat claws is they, they tend to be dirty. So you always got to clean that off. And it, the other thing is, it takes a little while to see how much uh, clawing you got. You know, so, there's that. As for me, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like how alcohol feels on a fresh wound. But, I guess most people don't like it, I don't know. I don't know there's something wrong with me. I, <laughs> I think it feels kind of cool. <laughs> oh well. You know, it's like when I went to the dentist last and they said, uh, you know, for that pain, you need, because they did a real deep cleaning, they said, for that pain, you need to, um, you know, maybe take a Tylenol. And I said, what pain? And they're like, you must have a high pain tolerance. That, those were their exact words. I don't know. I just know what I feel. And I feel fine. Um, guys. We got silvers, man. I've slowed down on buying silvers, so um, I got a costly legal expense uh, coming my way. Um, I will say this, um, you know, you got to do your own due diligence, but just be careful about who you bring into your circle, man. Especially if it's a tie that binds, because there's some wild, wild... You may notice that you haven't seen my my dog. Well, my dog was taken. Now, keep in mind that I've had that dog for seven years, and I've only been uh, 
well, it's only been three years on the other deal. I won't get into too many details, so if that gives you any idea of the audacity involved in the situation. Um, there have been threats, there have been legal actions, um, and the funny thing is, now this is something I will share for the men, so if you're not a man, cover your ears if you don't want to be offended. I really don't care if you're offended, but for some reason, the courts don't really listen to you when you have boy tackle. I, I know, shocker, you can tell them till you're blue in the face, and they don't want to hear it. And quite frankly, my advice, gentlemen, if you, yeah, if you're a man, you better be really sure really sure and even then you better be really sure I hope that makes sense but uh, yeah the shinies man it's, it's all about the shinies um, luckily what I did was is I sold every piece of shiny that I purchased to pay the lawyer prior to, or after the date of uh, the legal event meaning you know, that's a perfectly legitimate expense. That's legal fees, right? And that anything I've, yeah, anything I purchased in that time frame was sold. And uh, I have the people that I've sold them to who are willing, more than willing to te test, attest to that in the legal proceedings. So, yep. Yep. Good deals. Oh. Um. I'll be honest with you guys, um, it's been a, a rough eight months or so, man. Yeah. Uh, it all started, you see, when my, uh, my mother moved in and uh, didn't get along with someone. And that someone started acting, well, they were already acting buck wild long before then, but I was mostly at work, so I didn't really have to deal with it but let's just say the level of buck wild went up and I started calling the police to take care of the buck wild well the police never did anything um, never did anything at all things were stolen broken destroyed people were assaulted and the police did nothing the judge said that's unfounded, but never said why. It's a domestic situation, they said. But oddly enough, whenever the pendulum went the other way, everything was in their favor. Everything. Even the judge saying, I have no uh, cause, but I'm going to go ahead, right? Gavel goes down. And i that's when I realized you, you don't really... If you have boy tackle, you don't have any rights in this country, man. This person has made my life a living hell. They have attacked me. They've tried to kill me. And I don't mean that figuratively. I mean, they've literally attempted to murder me. And I didn't call the cops when they did it because I didn't want them to face the consequences. I thought I could handle it. And that's my other bit of advice for you, gentlemen. If your woman's acting like that, you call the cops immediately. They're going to lie. They're going to get you put in jail, but that's okay. At least it's on the record when they do it again. Or, more wisely, just don't let them back in. But the thing is, yeah, the 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 law is not on your side. Um, you do not have any hope. That's, that's what I've seen. I'm not the first person that's dealt with this. Uh, we have a rigged court system in this country, and uh, it definitely favors females. And anything to do with female or anything to do with family court, anything to do with divorce, um, it's a racket, is what it is. And that's how I feel. And I don't care if anybody's hurt or offended by that. And I think if you talk to enough lawyers, because I have late recently, they all agree. <laughs> I remember one lawyer who disagreed with me. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, welcome to America, man. Uh, we are attacking males, uh, we're making their lives crap just for being males. We talk about. Uh, toxic masculinity I don't know what that is I, I think I think the people who say it don't know what it is 
and I really don't see much hope for the future of this country with things going the way they're going. Uh, this is anecdotal, but I don't see any future where I try to all this again. Uh, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Remember, gentlemen, she gets half, whether she's at fault or you are. She gets half. You understand that? So you could literally do everything right. She could go out, find uh, Tyrone down the road. She gets half. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again one more time. She gets half. The end. And it's happening all the time. You know, I, I was actually starting to do some research and you guys can check this yourself, but look up the number one cause of divorce. It ain't what you think it is. It's women getting bored. And why do I say women? Well. Women initiate most divorces. It's not even close. And the number one cause of divorce is, yeah, being bored, basically. Essentially, there's no abuse. There's none of that. It's just, eh, failure to cohabitate. What's that mean? Well, it means she got bored because she's the one initiating the divorce. And, well, she's got the kids if you got kids. So she gets half plus a little something extra. And... Yeah, there's really no... They've actually disincentivized families to the point where there are there are hardly any families. And I... Listen, I don't mean to get too political on these discussions about sober, but... I, and it all started with LBJ, we'll be honest. LBJ started this, but it's a war on men. And it, actually, it's not a war on men. It's a war on society as a whole. And it's a war on families. And quite frankly, we're, this country can't survive it. Our fertility rates are already garbage. Um, we're not producing quality individuals anymore. Uh, they're, they're few and far between is what I'm saying. On average, the average person we're producing now just isn't up to par. And the reason is, this is just my thoughts, um, I think siblings keep each other in check. I think the size of the family has shrunk. Let me show some silver. Real talk. Man. Yeah, I think the size of families has shrunk. The number of children produced has gone down. And in doing so, what we guarantee is that there's less input at the child level to from one child to another. So, you know, when you were growing up, if you had a large family, you would know that your brother, your sister, they're going to call you on your stuff, all right? So when you're acting a fool, they're going to be like, hey, <laughs> I couldn't do that. I don't know why you think you can, right? We don't have that anymore. We have family. The average family size, right, is less than 2.1, right? So you got fewer and fewer siblings putting each other in check, you got more and more resources being used per child, making more and more attention, more and more entitlement, um, less ability. I mean, don't, that's not all bad, don't get me wrong, but it, the product is bad. And less and less ability, right, to function when the time comes. Yeah. Less and less, and less and less, and so much less. And we get these entitled young people that come out into the world expecting, you know, whatever, and they don't get it. And then they get sad. And uh, I, I don't know if you guys have seen the statistics on the uh, the actual use of uh, SSRIs and other psych meds nowadays in young people, especially young women. Um, I've noticed another trend. And this is quite unnerving. Um, every woman, or and there's few men, I guess, that do it, but it's mostly women that I see online nowadays. They're they're giving their boyfriends diagnoses. They're calling them narcissists. Hey, Jared, what's up? Oh, you know, living the dream. Oh yeah. Every man that doesn't do what they want is a narcissist for reasons. It's basically what it amounts to. Yeah. Now, that's not to say there aren't narcissists. There absolutely are narcissists. Certainly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, now every woman, they're having a competition on who's got the most narcissistic boyfriend. Right. And they sit and cry about 
<laughs> it's and, funny. You go on Facebook, you'll see it. I, oh, yeah, I, I do. Know. All the time. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Yep. It's their the new word they've learned in their vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's added it to the vernacular. <laughs> anyway, I was just telling them about divorce and stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's always exciting. Anyway, I got uh, legal pending action, so I don't want to discuss any particulars. I was just explaining how the family courts don't have any man in this country's back. No, they certainly don't. Uh, they got your uh, back in. <laughs> yeah, they got your back in, that's for certain. <laughs> they got your number. But, uh, no, look, man, uh, they are using you as a resource. Um, they, it's not just your wife that's getting paid, your ex-wife. Um, and she gets to use that money. It don't have to go on them kids. No. They can go on whatever they want. But they're also, you know who else gets paid? The lawyers. Yeah, they get 40%. Oh, you know who else gets paid? Well, they got a retainer. Oh, uh, they yeah. got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else gets paid? That judge. That, that judge, judge is on. Paid. That docket's always full. Yeah. That docket's always, man, whoo, somebody was a genius. Well, yeah. you know, there are no criminal courts in the United States. It is all civil. Oh, okay, tell me about that. When you get, if you catch a felony and it, in your case, you know, you, yeah. your case number says CF whatever. Right. That doesn't, we, we make the assumption that that stands for criminal felony. Right. It does not. Uh -huh. It stands for commerce felony. Oh, okay. Well, see, I don't know nothing about that. I'm not even talking about, uh, I'm talking about civil court. Like, I know what you're saying. You're saying all courts, civil court. And I, that might be because they're corporations a lot of time doing the charging we and such. Are, yeah. We are still, mm. the only courts there are, there are military tribunals. Right. And then there are civil courts. Got it. Okay. What about federal courts? It's still federal court is something completely different. Okay. Yeah, I That's figured they might be a little. Completely different yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. But we are still, we are the military arm of the... British well, Empire. <laughs> yeah, we still are. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah. So I was giving them advice. Tell me what you think of this. If your uh, old lady's beating on you, you should call the cops every time. No, not necessarily. I mean, you sh you should, but I mean, there you run the risk of her. Well, that's exactly what I said. They're going to say you did it. Yes. And they're going to believe them. And that's exact. Uh, anyway, so I, I'm not saying, uh, again, legal pennant, but uh, let's say you were in that situation. What, you have an injury? Well, say they're literally trying to kill you. Like, they well, pull yeah. weapons. Uh, they try to shove you downstairs. They hit you over the head with a fireplace poker. Just throwing random examples, not, right? Not, right? Not uh, specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing too specific. Uh, and then you just go to work and uh, tr hope it'll all be better when you get home because they're clearly have a mental condition, bipolar disorder. Ho Certainly. You hope, but maybe it's something worse. Right. Maybe it's uh, something a little more uh, cluster B. Yeah. Yeah, personality disorder. That's yes. where I'm getting now because now it's not uh, fury. It's pure, wretched psychopathy, man. Yes, it, it is. is evil. Evil. Just pure evil. So anyway, I'm not trying to diagnose anyone or make any legal claims. I just want to be clear. Disclaimer, I'm just saying, what if? What if? And then the thing is, the law always, always sides with the female. Always. I, I've i literally had, uh, after an uh, abuse incident, uh, had the police come to the incident. I, the, the female police officer actually believed me. Right. The male cop wasn't trying to hear it. Wasn't trying to hear any of it. And then the second time, it was just two male cops, and they weren't trying to hear it. And then uh, one time out on the street, she was doing it. Mm. The cops came and told me I could go home and leave her there. I, I said, I didn't do that because right. she had calmed down. But I should have done that. and changed the lock while she was on her way. But anyway, I would still have my dog, man. Right. You know? She stole my dog. Who steals a dog? Horrible That's people. Cruel. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even like that dog, man. All right. Anyway, 
Have an amazing day, guys. Find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. If you can't find them, don't blame me. I'm trying to show them to you. Bye, bye, bye. Like, share, subscribe.